radio to all South Unions, all South Unions, UAB Howard has an active shooting inside the hospital. 303, we need to set perimeter on the outside all around the facility. 303, we have units inside, but we need an active perimeter. Hey, stay away from the windows in case we slide the windows. Do I have a 20 on the shooter? No, we have got officers on every floor. Just stand by, we're doing a slow search. Okay, we got officers on every floor. The officers on every floor. Please give us an update when you find the shooter. Shooter's down. Shooter's down. He's on the second floor. Uh, they were quote, quoting that, if I hadn't already said, there were two shots to the chest. And so, um, and then once, once, sorry, once that happened, um, they had uh, they had brought the guy out, and I think they kicked kicked y'all out too. But um, the guy the guy that I saw, I was looking right at him. He did, I don't, he I can't say he was dead. But he, he he didn't look awake, and they weren't yeah. doing any uh, any CPR or anything to him. But he was a white male. He looked like he was around 30 years old. So. Status on the victims. One victim is in stable condition. Unfortunately, I have to report the second victim did not survive and was pronounced deceased during surgery. The investigators are continuing their investigation and have a lot of information to sort through and evidence so we can try and determine what led to this tragic incident tonight. We ask that you keep the families of the victims in your prayers as we continue our investigation. We will continue to keep you updated as our investigators continue to find out what happened tonight. As I previously stated, there is no threat to the public. The suspect has been pronounced deceased from a self-inflicted gunshot wound on the location of the hospital where the shooting took place earlier this evening.